join me today for a few minutes on how to differentiate between American English, British English and South African English. Hi, I'm Effie Mayer. Welcome to Tureko Quill, TQ, an education channel on academic English language skills. Be a language detective. This video is perfect for you if you want to improve your overall English language skills so that you are able to write, edit and or proofread academic research papers to a good standard before submitting them as per various deadlines. After all, you want your work to be credible, don't you? One way to do this is to ensure that your language is correct and standardized. If you are new to TQ, welcome. Ring the bell. Click and subscribe for more videos like this one. Let's get started. The topic of American English versus British English versus South African English is relevant because we are living in a global village. You may be a first, second or even third English speaking person living in America, Britain or South Africa and need to write, edit and or proofread your academic paper. This video has something for you. What differentiates American English British English and South African English. One of the key ways is language use convention. That is meaning and spelling, grammar and punctuation. Another key way to differentiate American, British and South African English is vocabulary. Vocabulary as well as grammar and punctuation will be featured in forthcoming videos. Check the standard way of spelling. The letter L or the letters LL. Verbs that end in an L after a short vowel sound when ED or ING are added. In American English, the letter L is used in such words as T-R-A-V-E-L-E-D or M-O-E-L-I-N-G. In British English and South African English, the letters L-L are used for words such as T-R-A-V-E-L-L-E-D or M-O-D-E-L-L-I-N-G. What about the spelling for words ending in O and OU? In American English, the letter O only uses the O form. For example, collar. For British English and South African English, the standard way of writing either the letter O or the letter OU is to use the OU form. For example, color, color. What about words ending in Z or S? In British English, for example, R E C O G N I S E may also be spelled as R-E-C-O-G-N-I-Z-E In South African English, for example, R-E-C-O-G-N-I-Z-E may also be spelled as R-E-C-O-G-N-I-S-E However, in the American English, the spelling is only acceptable as R-E-C-O-G-N-I-Z-E For words ending in ER and RE. 
The letters ER are used in American English in such words as theater. In British English and South African English, RE is used in such words as theater. theater. What about words ending in CE or SE? In British and South African English, the verb that relates to a noun ending in CE is sometimes given the ending SE. For example, advice, noun, and advise, verb. American English uses SE for both the noun and verb forms of these words. It also uses SE for other nouns which in British and South African English are spelled CE, including defense, offense, pretense. What a good way to spend a few minutes. We really covered some important ground on English language use conventions, especially spelling in American, British and South African English. More videos posted every first Wednesday and third Wednesday of the month. New to the TQ channel? Also check out the trailer video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.